about the only spot that you could not quite classify as comfortable, but anyway, that's what we've got. Um, yeah, so the plan is today, we've got one of the other guys attacking these, which is good, because my back's had enough of getting up and down on the bilge, but the two that go on the scupper this side, I'm pretty keen to at least um, clean these up and get that back together, because when it rains now, overnight, all the water comes into the boat. We've got the harbour bungs out, but they're only quite small holes, so if we get over you know, in the tropics, so if we get one of those great big rainstorms that puts a lot of um, rain down, we won't actually be able to get the water out of the boat because the harbour bungs will only allow so much to go out, and the bilge pumps have all been disconnected for the same reason, so uh, we'll get onto the grey water, I think. That's going to be the, the main job of the day. The old crane turned up yesterday and uh, pulled the stick out, the mizzen, and here's our hole down here. So you can see there was a termite damage in there. I don't think there's any active termites in here at the moment. sort of have a bit more of an investigation of that. That only came out yesterday oh, after 2.30, 3 o'clock, something like that. So all we've managed to do is drop it on the ground or on the trestles. So this is the through holes from the outside. So there's our damage. This is the other side of it. It's nearly seven o'clock in the morning. It's already getting getting steamy. So I might as well try and get as much done now as I can before um, before it gets too warm. All right, so he's put one of them on there. Okay. How's that going to work? Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. So, this piece with the holes in it that he was using as a washer it was actually a special zinc for this end of the prop. And There's another collar zinc that I've bought that'll go on there, plus the other zincs that'll go either side down here. But he's decided, it looks like, to have a try with this thing. So that nut. That not replaces that one. Hey, hey, hey. Lots of places for barnacles to um, take hold. Oh, that was a bit of a mission cleaning these things up. Oh, quite chockers inside. So, as you can see here, we've got this back on. And she turns nice and smooth. So here's the slot or the keyway that the mast sits in to stop it rotating while it's while it's settled in here. And you can see down here the hole so that any water that does drain down the mast and get into here can get away and not rot the base of the mast or the keel. Okay, so here's our scarf just about ready to done now what i found when i was doing the investigation on this was that the termites had got into this other side and um, made their little nest and we're furrowing backwards and forwards so i was chopping out with my chisel to the extent of where they were digging 
and then slowly working my way down to find out what's going on because I didn't know what the construction was of the mast, whether it was just solid or whatever. So anyway, so we found the wires and it's made up of this, um, what is it, a two by two with the other timbers around the outside of it. Now they've made little holes into this but I don't know how much they've destroyed it but what I've decided to do instead of taking everything right out and making the mast a bit weak in this area is that we're going to do a, a scarf here then roll the roll it over to the next flat surface cut out another scarf roll it out and then do another one and so this is the other side here so I was doing me chiseling and so on to work out the extent but because this is really good timber and the timber available around here I don't think it's as good as what this timber is so I'm trying to preserve as much of it as I can well that's one scarf ready to go just waiting on timber. Morning. Well, yesterday rained all day, or most of the day. Um, I was inside, finally got the grey water installed, as well as after. Um, didn't get anything done on the mast, obviously. It's all soaking wet. But that's what we're doing today. So it's supposed to be raining on and off for the next... Um, uh, three or four days at least but today evidently we're going to be varnishing and scarfing he wants those four scarfs done and the boat back in the water in a two week time frame so that'll be a bit of fun won't it